TOS-1 Buratino is a unique Russian self-propelled multiple rocket launcher system that has seen action in global hotspots like Afghanistan, Chechnya, Iraq, and Syria. It mounts a launch unit with 230mm diameter rocket tubes. Original variant TOS-1M had 30 tubes while TOS-1A has 24 tubes. It is a heavy flamethrower system, which is designed for providing fire support to infantry and tanks, defeating enemy manpower from open and closed firing positions in a variety of offensive and defensive combat, as well as disabling light armored vehicles and transport. Combined target destruction is achieved through the effects of high temperature and overpressure. The Buratino was shown for the first time in public in 1999. It is not used by the artillery units of the Russian armed forces but is found in NBC defense units. Most Russian artillery weapon systems use a lightly armored vehicle chassis like that of the MTLB armored carrier. The 46-ton TOS-1 on the other hand uses the much heavier hull of T-72 tank. That is a good reason because the original TOS-1 model only had a range of around 3 kilometers, meaning it would have to withstand hostile fire from all kinds of enemy weapon systems and it will also lower the maintenance cost due to commonality of platforms. TOS-2 Tosaka is the successor of the TOS-1A system with improved tactical and technical characteristics. Unlike its predecessor, it is made on the basis of the Ural truck with increased load capacity and cross-country ability. It has an increased launch range of unguided rockets. Aiming, shooting, and fire control of the TOS-2 is fully automated. A crane is mounted on the vehicle, so the system does not need a transport and charging machine. The sheer size of the rockets means that the TOS-1 requires not one but two TZMT reloading vehicles. The first combat use of the TOS-1 Buratino is recorded between 1988 and 1989 against Afghan rebels in the rugged terrain of the Panjshir Valley. However, it was in 1999, the same year that it was first revealed to the public, this weapon marked its name in the siege of the Chechen capital of Grozny. It has proven itself in combat against insurgents in Syria and Iraq. The weapon system retains basic bunker-busting capabilities and is ideal for engaging light armor, fortifications, secured caves, rural strongholds, urban areas, and other fortified and enclosed positions. While number of munition types for TOS-1A are developed such as fuel air explosives, it is particularly renowned for its 220mm rockets with thermobaric rounds. Just one explosion from these rockets can destroy several city blocks, and a single round weighing approximately 90 kilograms can obliterate everything within an 80 cubic meter area. A single salvo fired by a battery of five TOS-1A platforms can destroy all targets in an area of 40,000 square meters at a range of 6 kilometers, or it is equivalent to an area of 200 by 200 meters. The rate of fire of this system is 24 rockets in 6 to 12 seconds. One of the limitations of this weapon is that munitions of this type require precise aerosol dispersal of fuel to ensure proper mixing with atmospheric oxygen, followed by the precisely timed firing of a small initiator charge to produce a large explosion. Improper dispersal of the fuel aerosol or a mistimed firing of the initiator could produce a large fireball, but the resulting deflagration would not produce the blast shock wave of the intended explosive detonation. The challenge of reliably producing consistent detonations has limited the application of this type of munition in Western arsenals. This system is effective only in asymmetric wars, like the War on Terror and Operation Against Rebels, where it is required to bombard the confined enemy with an area weapon. Otherwise being a close combat weapon, having 6km range, is too short on the current battlefield. Because of its size and heat signature, it would be very difficult to save it from Apache's Hellfire missiles or from armed UAVs flying above 20,000 feet. There could be chances it became a victim of counter-battery fire from enemy artillery systems, as these systems have an effective range of 30 to 40 kilometers. Latest MLRS weapon systems can shoot up to a range of 70 kilometers. These difficulties make the deployment of this weapon system challenging. TOS-1 vehicle has no real counterpart in use by Western militaries. While there are all kinds of multiple rocket launch systems in use, such as the M142 HIMARS in use by the US Army to bombard ISIS in Iraq, they are all lightly armored weapons intended for long-range direct fire. Furthermore, such rocket artillery typically relies on cluster munitions or conventional high-explosive warheads, not incendiary ammunition. 
The Russian army, however, fields long-range multiple launch rocket systems like the Smirch and Uragan, capable of using incendiary warheads. The United States uses thermobaric warheads in smaller man-portable systems as well as larger air-launched munitions.